Hey guys, thank you for checking out my clothing pack. This is a long-awaited update to my clothing tutorials. I made one a really, really long time ago involving just the usual mannequin, but now I'm back with a, a few more goodies to go along. So before we start, I know a common question that gets asked is how to get these two panels right here, Explorer and Properties. So to get those, you will go to View, and then you want to make sure you have both of these selected right here, Explorer and Properties. That makes both of those show up. So once you have those up, what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what we're going to work on first. So um, I'll just take the whole model here and using Control U, I can ungroup it into individual items. And then we're going to work with the mannequin uh, just because it has kind of everything going on here. So I'm going to use this shirt here I made a long time ago. And so what we do is we get this ID right here from the link. And so we're gonna control C to copy that. Then we will come back to studio, open up the mannequin, open up the configure page, and we will put this in the shirt purchase ID. Uh, I actually had already done that. And so then now we're gonna go back and we're gonna go get the pants ID as well. So here's some pants I made. We're gonna get that ID again from the link. Bring it back, put it in the pants purchase ID slot. And then now, because we want to get this on the mannequin, so that way you can see it, uh, we're going to take the numbers again, we're going to go to example clothing, and I'm going to put this in the pants template. And then I'm going to copy that number that it gives me back, and put that in the pants ID. And now we'll do the same thing with the shirt purchase ID, put it in example clothing, put it in there, and then we're going to get that number again, and put it in the shirt ID. And then lastly, if we want to disable uh, the ability to try on the clothing, we can turn that off like so. Or if we leave it on, it'll allow people to try on the clothing by pressing the bottom buttons of this mannequin. Um, so now we'll go in and play. And you'll see, it'll actually load the clothing onto the mannequin. If we click these top buttons, the purchase prompt comes up. I actually already own these items, so it won't allow me to buy them, but you can at least see that they do come up. And then if we use the little buttons on the bottom to try on the clothes, you can see it puts the clothes on my character. So that's pretty much what you're going to do for the rest of this, um, but just for proof of concept. So if we take our shirt ID again, this is the to make it go on. Um, actually, we can even, because these two are so modularly close to each other, we can actually take the shirt ID and shirt purchase ID from the mannequin, go over to the back wall shirts model, and then just paste those in the configure, uh, deleting the old ones, and we'll actually see that it will work the same way. So now you can see they're all on there. When we click it, that'll pop up. Um, so now the shirt display is a little bit different because we have a few more things going on here. So in the configure tab, we have our mannequin. And so mannequin just has shirts and pants ID. So we can actually pull those right away from the configure from the mannequin over here. And so you'll see that'll go on like so. But the mannequin doesn't have buttons to purchase the items on the mannequin here. So because of that, there's no purchase IDs we have to put in. Um, and so those uh, IDs that go in here are the ones that you're going to get from out of here. Um, and so then now we have our shirts. We have eight shirts that go around this table. Shirt number one is the one that starts from the front of the mannequin. If you're not sure which side is the front uh, for the mannequin, you can also just open up the shirts uh, folder here. It's in shirt display and find shirt number one. And then it goes around uh, counterclockwise. So number two is on the right, then number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight. So if you want a specific layout, and then to 
to get these shirts to show up, there are all these IDs here. Um, and these are differently named than, than before. So if we go back to our example here uh, using my virtual Roblox store, so if we open this up and we get a few shirts here, so I'm just going to do four, it'll be a little easier, but uh, you'll still see the end result. So for my first shirt, I'm going to do the Eat Sleep Roblox shirt. And so we open this up, we go to shirt by ID number one, and then because we're only doing four shirts, I'll also do it again for number five. Um, and we'll put those all in the buy ID for right now. And so then this one will go in number two and number six. And this one will go in number three and number seven. Like so. And then the last one, the jacket, will go in number four and number eight. Like so. Um, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take our number one ID, we're going to put it in the example clothing folder, and then after we get it in there, we get a different number. Um, so you can see the number I just got from in here after I put it in there is 644 ending, but originally it started out as 690 ending. Um, and that actually matters. We actually do need them to be different like that. And then we're also going to put that in number five. Um, so now we'll take number two. So the, the process just kind of repeats. Um, not too difficult. So it's like going in shirt IDs. Uh, number two and number six. Now number three. Very simple process, just very repetitive, but reasonably easy to work with. And the last one here, number four and number eight. And so now when we hit play, we can actually go in and we see that whole display is now covered with shirts, and when we click on the top of each of the piles, um, it allows you to purchase them. So that is how you're going to use this little pack to be able to customize your store. Uh, be on the lookout, I, I I will likely get around to updating this pack over time with more items. Um, so maybe if you guys would like, maybe adding this to be pants instead of shirts, and maybe a mixture of both, and so on and so forth. But for now, that's all from me. Uh, enjoy making your favorite home store.